Hello and welcome back to another American Truck Simulator video. My name is Moose78. And in today's video, we are going to run up to Astoria, Oregon from uh, Redding, California. Back in the 389, the SES 389. This is a private mod. Using the SES spread axle reefer. Got the nice Thermo King unit on there. Go ahead and fire it up. Let's take a look at our route here real quick. Uh, I guess we're going to... I guess we are going to Newport. I thought it was Astoria. My apologies. We're going to go up to the tidbit there in Newport. Uh, let's see. Looks like a pretty straight shot up the five. I can handle that. So we could, we could hang a left here in Eureka and take the scenic route and run up the 101. I believe that is what we are going to do. But uh, let's go ahead and hop in the cab here. And uh, let's get the trailer trucking. Didn't want to go into gear. Of course, still using the uh, early autumn mod by Grinds. Link for that, of course, is in the video description, so be sure to check that out. Should be a nice little scenic run. I have not been up the 101 in quite a while, like since uh, they opened up Big Sur. So this should be a nice, nice scenic run up to uh, Portland, or not to Portland, but uh, to Oregon, up to uh, Newport, rather. All right. We're already loaded up. So, of course, we are good to go. As long as I don't drive on the sidewalk. That's usually a good thing. He can't answer that question. And the game looks just completely different. It's crazy. From what it looked like, uh, you know, a year or so ago.
Yeah, we could be here a little while. Schnikes. I just noticed the sign on the side of that uh, news van. Knox News. For Knox. And come on now. Let's punch it. going to damn it all right get out here and do a little scenic trucking shall we This just looks good though. Let's hop out here and take a look. <laughs> Stay on my side of the road, be great. Man. That is some good looking scenery, if I do say so myself. I can't remember if I said at the start, but uh, using the, uh, I think it's the 550 uh, straight pipe cat engine mod. One of my favorite engine mods. Snake it on through here, don't mind me. Man, this mod by Grimes though just makes the scenery just pop. I'll also link uh, down in the video description the uh, link to the uh, live CB. This isn't an actual mod. This is actual live, live uh, CB chatter.
So I'm kind of excited to get up on the 101 in Oregon because I know in California it's one of the most scenic uh, routes in the entire game. So looking forward to what this has in store for us today. That's kind of good to get back into the swing of things, though. I know I've been pretty absent uh, for quite a while. Even been pretty hit and miss on trying to get back into the swing of things, but uh, kind of feel like I'm hitting that groove, getting back into it. Driving a neutral, that's always good. Good for the engine. Come on, Betsy. Come on. I don't know. After driving the 579 for so long, it's kind of nice to get back on a long hood. I am getting closer to uh, getting the flat glass done. It will be a private mod, though. Sorry, guys. It's one that uh, I purchased off the uh, 5153D, so really hate to release that and then see someone else turn around and sell it for profit so that one is going to stay private and 101 is kind of busy today Now, this is always one of my favorite favorite parts of the game, though. Nice little little small community or whatever, all the cabins and whatnot. This is different. And I have not been in, been up this way for a while. Mad River. Don't look mad. I don't know if it's just me or what, but it seems like they have redone quite a bit of uh, the northern part of California here. I guess I'm assuming I'm still in California. I should probably check and see. Where am I? Yeah, we're not quite into Oregon yet, so we still got just a little bit to go. So, yeah. And that is one of the nice things that the SES has done throughout the uh, life cycle of the game so far, is once they release new content, they have been pretty good about going back and updating other uh, parts of the map. So, that is good. Good on them. But 
no, like I was saying there a second ago, it's nice to get back into this, get back into the swing of things. Got a few video, got a few videos up this week. See how that goes. See how that all does. That was kind of close. I do enjoy sitting down and playing the game again, though. I will say that. There for a while, it was just kind of meh. Really didn't, really didn't have the passion to sit down and play it. But now, you know, like I said, um, you know, the last couple videos, now that Oregon's out, I you know, definitely want to get back in. Do some more trucking, do some more exploring. Hopefully get some more modding done. This just looks like completely different. I know let's check a second ago. Yeah, but we're still in freaking California. This is awesome. This is starting to be one of my favorite routes already, for sure. Every time I see that frickin' charger, I think it's a sheriff or something. At least it looks like the sheriff's car uh, around my area. It looks awesome over there. over there a little bit and not run off the road so you guys can see it. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, give me this scenery over the desert any day of the week. I can't wait till uh, we get more of the map complete, obviously, but get, you know, like Idaho, Montana, stuff like that. Just these lush mountain sceneries, man. That's where it's at for me. And actually, if uh, memory, well, I can't remember if this is all, this might be all new. I can't remember. Shoot. I thought part of this was new. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought part of this was new. Still looks amazing regardless. That's the moral that story is. This looks amazing. And if they keep this uh, trend going, man, this game is going to be just absolutely amazing, 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 amazing in the next uh, couple years. I and mean, it's already awesome. I know it's uh, ATS seems like it's getting more popular within the truck sim community. Obviously, Euro Truck Sim still the uh, the heavyweight champ there, if you will, in terms of player count, popularity, and everything. But uh, kind of feel like American Truck Sim is starting to uh, close that gap a little bit. What the frig? <laughs> that is awesome. Even the big blue friggin' ox. Let's go. Let's friggin' go. That's awesome.
hopefully they can pull something off uh, for ATS like they did with Euro Truck Sim though. And uh, you know, like Euro Truck Sim has the Chrome Trailers pack. It'd be nice to see them do something like that for American Truck Sim. Hey, strike a deal with like Utility or Great Dane, something like that. That'd be kind of cool. Get some officially licensed uh, Great Danes and Utilities in game. You know, obviously it seems like uh, Navistar is on board. Cut the Jake out through town there. Ooh. Either hit a bump or ran over or something. I don't know. I think it was just a bump of the road. Traffic ahead. Newly McNoted. And freeway. Once again, duly noted. Gosh, this looks just looks so freaking good. Let's see what time it is in game here. God, it's only three o'clock in the afternoon. Welcome to Oregon. See how far we got here. Uh, we still got a decent little bit to go, but I think we can knock her out. So there wasn't a whole lot of CB chatter going on, so I kind of cut that out. And I can still hear it, but uh, once this goes live, you guys won't hear it, so. If it starts to pick back up, though, we'll, I'll cut it back into the video. out and check. Oh, damn. Damn. Dang, Daniel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, this is like by far. By far. Don't you rat think you. That came the bloodiest route on the game, but this is by far the best looking route in the game. Change my mind. This is literally the first time I've been up through this part of the game since Oregon came out. And man, I'm just blown away at how good this looks. RV park over there on the right. It's 
fuel economy staying nice and nice and good. Oh, that's cool. Got a nice big little pull-off area there. Oh, man, check that out now. Yeah. Yeah, give me this scenery. I know I said it before, but I'm saying it again. Give me this scenery over the desert stuff that we've seen uh, so much of. Give me this any day of the week. Imagine driving up and down this stretch of road in real life every day. Oh man, that'd be that'd be awesome. That'd be a pretty friggin' good paper out right there. Come on. That'd be a pretty friggin' good paper route, indeed. We're running out of fuel, son of a biscuit eater. Uh, well... Uh, uh, let's see, is there anything in Coos Bay? Why would there be a fuel stop in Coos Bay? And there's everything else in Coos Bay. Outside of Coos Bay. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No. No. Wow. There's nothing till... Eh, that can't be right. Eh, it can't be right. Why are there... Hmm. Yeah, like all the way back there. That, unless I'm like blind and missing it. Oh yeah, there's right friggin' there. Okay. Okay. Man. I figured there had to be something. Whoopsie. This is, gosh dang it, I don't know why that keeps doing that. Whoa, Betsy. Keeps popping out of gear for some reason. A little bluff areas, though, so that's nice. Yeah, this is and this is just so much fun driving through here.
went through some lights on. We'll pop out here in a second, take a look at it. Now, I do get just a little bit of a performance hit when I throw the lights on the 389 versus like, uh, you know, the 377 where I really don't see hardly any frame drops. Got all of them chicken lights. God, and there goes another freaking herd of buses. What is it, man? Buses be running in packs. Bay. Make sure I got that set. Yeah. That should be fairly easy to get to. Hopefully it's not like a little teeny tiny gas station. Bay. And where is it? Okay, I still got just a little bit to go around the curb. Sunsets look good, that's for sure. jumped off the line there. Almost had a full start. Man, look at that sunset, though. Look at that green light, though. Nice big Super Walbert. And that is freaking huge, dang. Yeah. Ah. I do not have the longer yellow light mod installed right now. I think that was, I don't know if it's been updated or not, but I know when the DLC launched, I think it was causing some crashes. So I took it out or deactivated or whatever. Whatever there. Man, just look at that. It's so freaking pretty. That right there. Take a screenshot, freeze my game up for a second. Very good, very good. Hopefully, you didn't crash it. Just a screenshot. Three days later. There we go. I got it set to where it's taking the high quality screenshots. If you go into your config file, and search like uh, HQ screenshot and change it to from zero to one. It will take a little bit higher quality screenshot in game, but it kind of kind of beats your PC up there for a couple seconds. All right, 
mosey on over here in the left-hand lane. And Coos Bay is cool. I'm looking, I'm looking. Where's the gas station? Oh, why I couldn't just turn there? I'm gonna turn right here. Hopefully it's not a one-way street. <laughs> nah, it's not. At least doesn't look like it. No, nah, it's not. Cool. Cool, cool. Looking a little bit worried there for a second. It's like, oh damn. That is kind of a smaller little gas station. All right, though. Get this big hoss in there. Get some go-go juice. Where is... That's a cool in there. Okay. Oh, sweet. This is one of the ones that has two. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. There we go. Oh, shenanigans. Man, this has been a pretty good run so far. I don't think we like too much farther and we'll be up uh, to Newport there. Calculating route. Never seen it do that before. That's weird. Hmm. It's like I lost my GPS or something. Is that literally like a thing in the game now? your box of crap here, guys. Oh, there it goes. So instead of trying to snake around, I'm just going to turn left out of here. Nothing coming. Off we go. Fueled up, back at it. I mean, just the towns in Oregon just seem, man, seem more lively, you know? They just don't seem, you know, so cookie cutter, I guess, for the lack of a better term. Seems like there's a lot more to them.
just seem very different and very unique from everything else, man. It's awesome. Guess I better turn those on. Here, I'm gonna stop. You, you, okay. Oh, okay. This is kind of winds through here. It looked like I was like pulling into a freight terminal or something there. I wasn't quite sure what was going on. Freaking awesome. And Coos Bay is probably one of the cooler little cities in the game. For sure, for sure. Ooh. And as luck would have it, seems like you always get stopped by trains. It's alright. Let's get out and take a look at the lights. Now let's get a little bit darker. I need to go back and do something with this light mod. This is a little just a little edit that I did, but it affects, you know, as you can see, the uh, default uh, nodes. And it should be a fairly, I mean, it is a fairly easy fix. Just the only thing though is you'd have to go back and edit your uh, trucks to use these nodes versus, you know, like the default nodes. So for some, it would be uh, fairly easy. For others, unfortunately, not so much. Just got a real nice reflection, though. This is just badass. Yeah, Oregon is definitely my favorite state so far. Not even a close second. Well, New Mexico, but New Mexico would be my second favorite, but it's not even close to Oregon. that I have. Wow. Man, I swear I've been this way before in real life. I was like 15 or something like that, so it's been a while, but man, this looks like so freaking familiar. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. I got like freaking goosebumps right now, man. Hair's like standing, standing on end. This is awesome. Man, it's like hit me in the feels. Wow. That's awesome, man. Yeah, like when I was 15 or 16, got to go up to the Pacific Northwest uh, of my dad out trucking and everything they ran team out west and luckily the guy he was running team with was like his you know best friend and you know guy was practically like a you know uncle to me so i 
and that was back in the day when cab movies were still, you know, fairly dominant on the highways and everything, and they had one of the big, oh, I can't remember the freaking model, I think it was like the 9800 eyes or whatever, but they had the big, huge freaking double bunk sleeper, so there was plenty of room for all three of us all week. Yeah, man, that looks so freaking familiar because I have been to Oregon once in my life and, man, I think that was part of the road that uh, we went on. That is awesome. And this has been one hell of a run for sure. kind of taking it all in right now. Man. How close are we? Yeah, we're just about there. You're just about there. That'll be a little bit longer video than normal, but that's okay. Get it all done in one shot. Seems like you guys like that anyway. Oh, excuse me. Fuel mileage dropped a little bit, but it's still pretty good. I could probably do nothing but drive this stretch of road in the game all the time and probably never get tired of it. I am excited and happy that I uh, decided to go this way because this be has been a tremendous amount of fun driving up and down this stretch of road. Newport, all right. So if I still had the one mod in there, probably would have went for that and made it. And just these cities look so friggin' cool. All 
right. Thank you, driver. And I cannot wait to see what the rest of the states have in store, if they're anything like Oregon. I mean, just look at this, man. Look at this. Not there. I mean, all these towns just seem so, so unique to one another. You know, early on when the game launched, it seems like all the little towns and everything were pretty much the same. Like, just kind of a copy and paste kind of thing. But man, they just seem so much, you know, more unique now. It's awesome. Absolutely helps with the immersion factor. Just makes the game seem more fresh, more alive. It's awesome, man. This is top shelf. Tidbit should just be right up here on our left. Yeah, there it is. I'm looking around and about ran that. It'd be interesting to look at uh, like a Google map image of uh, Newport and see how accurate it is. I bet you it's pretty daggone accurate. Oh, let's see, it looks like, where's their dock at over there? Is it around back maybe, or is that one that's off kind of off to the side a little bit? on over and see yeah, I I don't know, seen seen a set of doubles sitting out kind of behind everything there. We'll mosey on in here and find out. Alright, where do you need it? That's right there on the side. These typically aren't too bad, but as I'm sure you guys remember, I can take the most simple thing and just convolute the sweet bejesus out of it. So let's go. Turn around. 
and do it that way, or just pull up here and kind of up here in this corner, I think. And if that frickin' post-ed truck wasn't there, that would be phenomenal. I guess this won't be that bad. Slow and steady wins the race. Is that thing doing there anyway? There we go. Yeah, not too bad. Bada bing, bada boom. Well, all right, guys, that is going to wrap up. All right, guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. Man, that was one hell of a good run. Definitely, definitely going to have to make that trip up the 101 again. If you guys have not taken that route, we'll just take a look at it again here real quick. Man, just hop on the 101 up here in California. Take that up north, up to Newport. Man, probably try to get something from Newport going up to Astoria. Continue up the 101. How about it? Sound good? Yeah, man, let's do it. But if you liked today's video, be sure to give it a like and a share. This helps me out a bunch. And if you're new to the channel and are not already subscribed, or if you're just not subscribed in general, please take a look around. Consider subscribing now. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit that bell icon to be notified when new content goes live. But guys, in the next video, stay safe out there. Man, be good to one another. Take care, and we'll be seeing you.